On this morning's breaking news concerning Shamina Begum, one of the three East London schoolgirls who travelled to Syria to join the so-called Islamic State. Uh, let's go to uh, Alistair Bunkle, and uh, this is a decision in the British courts, Alistair, what is it? It is. Uh, this was an appeal by Shamima Begum to uh, reinstate her British citizenship, and she has lost the first stage of that legal challenge. So uh, the judge in the Special Immigration Appeals Court has decided to side uh, in that regard with the decision made by Sajid Javid when he was Home Secretary last year. He stripped Shamima Begum of her British citizenship because she also is of Bangladeshi descent. So uh, they were able to remove British citizenship, uh, which prevented her from returning to this country from a prison camp that she's being held in in Syria. Now, Shamima Begum, just to recap her tale, was 15 when she went to Syria in 2015, along with two other school friends. She joined Islamic State. She married an IS fighter of Dutch origin. They had uh, three children, uh, all of which died, and she was discovered uh, in a camp called Al Hall last year by a number of media outlets, first by the Times newspaper, but interviewed, as you can see here on your screen, uh, by our colleague John Sparks in Syria. Uh, a very uh, violent camp because it contains a lot of Islamic State uh, fighters and uh, brides of Islamic State fighters. She feared for her safety. Uh, she argued through her lawyers in this case that she was unable to properly put forward her, uh, her argument for this appeal and that she was living in squalid and inhumane conditions. Uh, but she has lost that, to recap. She's lost her legal challenge uh, to try and uh, reinstate her British citizenship, and so this will be seen as a victory for the government.